Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are going to be unboxing our BoxyChar base boxes for February of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, it is a monthly beauty subscription where you get five full-size beauty products each month for $27.99 plus a $1.99 handling fee. You do get to choose one of the products inside your box if you make the choice on choice day as well. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina. My sister's name is Rachel. And on my channel, we unbox lots of different subscription boxes, including lots of beauty boxes as well as sister videos. So if you like things like that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. We are so happy that you're here hanging out with us today unboxing our BoxyCharm base boxes. All right, so the theme this month is Treat Your Heart Out. It has like pink, purple clouds. I think it's cute. I don't know, something about Treat Your Heart Out sounds weird to me, but um, <laughs> it's, it's cute it's for cute. Valentine's. Yeah. Now, the back of the card used to talk about the products and everything inside in variation. So we have different variations. We don't know which ones they are, but it does say Epic News is coming. I've talked about this in all my boxy charm videos that i've had this month it says we've got something epic in the works and we can't wait to tell you about it falls on, on instagram at boxy charm and get excited for the biggest beauty news of the year still don't know what it is they still haven't announced it obviously we're filming this before this video is going up so maybe by then they've announced it but i am curious to hear what it's going to be i think a lot of people think it'll be ipsy and boxy charm merging i don't think it is going to be but i also don't know what it will be so we'll find out soon hopefully all right so the first item that we're going to talk about is the choice item of the month we both picked the same things and that is this this is the mascara it's by benefit benefit it's the their real magnet mascara um and we both received it i believe it's in black yes both in supercharged black so the mascara is 28 dollars. it has pretty cute packaging it looks like this a little like horseshoe magnet on the top i guess yeah um silver let's see what the wand looks like and while she's doing that i will say there was a foundation choice but i forgot it was choice day and by the time that i realized that i had missed out on choice day our shades were completely gone so i really mm -hmm. wish that we had gotten I, I can't remember what brand it was i wish we had gotten that but that being said this is nice yeah i can it's always a, synthetic bristles it is and they're very very small i always need a new mascara and actually mine right now i can tell it's towards the end of its life because it's starting to get pretty clumpy so i might actually jump right into using this um now yeah. but it looks nice and it does the it says the magnetically charged core draws out lashes to extreme lengths okay. so it's supposed to be 40 percent longer so this is a lengthening mascara nice this is kind of what the mascaras are one of those things you just have to use it to try it to see if it you like it or not yeah and i do like that type of wand so mm -hmm. i got it too and i'm excited about it yeah. The next thing that we actually both received, and this is the last thing that we both received, mm -hmm. is from Misho Beauty, and it's their liquid eyeshadow in Misho. Now, on the BoxyCharm website, it says this retails for $21. I can't find it on the Misho Beauty website, which I'm like, is this a Boxy exclusive? We don't have, it doesn't say on the card, so we don't know. Is this an old product? Like, we don't know. And it's really hard to open. Yeah, I basically am having to rip the whole thing to open it up. Ooh. It is a pretty shimmery color, but I don't use liquid eyeshadow. So personally for me, I'm not going to use this, mm -hmm. but it is pretty. If this was a lip gloss, but it's not. It's an eyeshadow. It's a like a kind of pinky with gold shimmer type of eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. I'm going to be honest. I don't use liquid eyeshadows either, but I I think I might actually keep this and try this. Oh, okay. I'm down for that. I'm yeah, yeah, really yeah. curious to see what it would look like. Um, it looks really shimmery. Swatch some so on your hand. I'm going to swatch it. <gasps> Ooh. I think this has actually pretty nice potential. Oh, I could just put it on my eyelid. I don't know. I I want to try to start like yeah. getting more into like doing eyeshadow and stuff and I think this is a nice easy way. Normally I hate eyesh liquid eyeshadows and I never use them, but for some reason this shade is just speaking to me. It is kind yeah. of give it I do like that it's kind of Valentine's vibes. Like it's like gold and pink. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's really nice. For me, the reason why I don't like liquid shadows is I have really oily lids. But for you, I think that'll be nice. I, that's a really yeah. pretty color for you. So. I've never tried a liquid eyeshadow before, so I have no idea of how my eyelid will react. But we'll find out. All right, so the next thing that they chose for me is by Otisite um, Pure Elements. This is their Adventuring Kiss Lip Serum, Vitamin C plus COQ10. And it retails for $48 online. Yeah, so it looks nice. And the packaging actually looks cool. It's like a little... Um, roller ball. Roller ball medicine bottle. Okay, well, it's small. Um, this is what it looks like. 
And then it's in the And it does have an adventurine like crystal there. I don't know how I feel about the smell. It smells like chocolate without sweet. Yeah. Like butthole a little bit. No. Well, I don't know what butthole's yours smell like. <laughs> None. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not it's bad. It's light. It's it's an it's not I don't think it's yeah, bad at all, honestly. I don't I don't mind it. It's I yeah. think it doesn't smell like good, but it doesn't smell bad. It, it just smells. Yeah, it it feels kind of oily, but I mean like it like it would be nice on your lips. I will say the roller ball is cold, so like that would be Ooh. so nice at night to put on your lips. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna try it out. I normally very different. Yeah, every night I put on the Laneige lip mask, but this is a very I mean it's a serum, not a mask, but very different from that, but I'm excited to try it out and see. You can do the serum and then the mask. Ooh, I'd have like, I'd wake up with like juicy, mm. juicy. <laughs> the next thing that I received is also a lip serum, but this one is different. This is from Evio or Evio Skin, and this is their lip serum. Mine is in Speak Up, so there it is. It does have a color to it, and this retails for sixteen dollars. They have it in other colors, and they have it in clear based on their a website, but this is um, vegan, cruelty free. So I'm curious to see. It just it's like one of those type of lip balms. I'm curious, like Ooh. it has like a it's like a mauvey pink color. Let me swatch some on my hand. Ooh, Ooh, that looks pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, oh, it smells like old room. It smells like you've walked into a museum and you're walking into like an old house room. Yeah, I agree. But I don't hate it. I kind of like that smell. I don't like that at all. Well, then you can have this because no, I don't. You. That smell is. I, I don't want that on my lips. <laughs> but overall, it the, the, no. The color is no. pretty. Though. The color is pretty. The consistency is pretty. That smell is it smells like old, and I can't. I just can't do it. <laughs> but might. it has hemp and peppermint. I, it's probably the hemp. Maybe it's the hemp. Maybe. I don't smell peppermint at all. I wish mm -hmm. I smelled peppermint. Um, this is a little disappointing scent because of the scent. scent like this yeah. does not smell good to me. Yeah, you might need to put it on one day and just see what happens. Like if it disappears. Did you just watch me gag? I'm just gonna be like gagging but. the entire day. No, <laughs> not for me. All right, so next up, I received a product by Shadow Moon. It is their reusable shadow shield, and this retails for fourteen dollars. So basically, it's just like a little plastic thing that you can put here for eyeshadow, so it doesn't get all over your face. Yeah, it's silicone actually, which is nice. Okay. Okay, so it comes in packaging like this, and it just looks like this. It's just a little silicone shield that you can put like that. I mean, it feels nice. The sides of it are malleable. The It's like pretty hard on this side, or thick. Um, it, it's a very cool item, not something I'll use. Um, I kind of don't really like when I get product things like it feels like this should be an add-on to me but I know I just don't do like a lot of makeup so that's why um the box is a little bit dirty it's like a lot of powder in there for some reason yeah but it's not something I'm personally going to use anytime soon it is nice to have around in case I do want to do like a, a big look I can um make sure I have a clean line but yeah I don't know I'm indifferent about it. Yeah. So the next thing that I received is from First Aid Beauty, and this is their Gentle Foaming Face Cleanser with Amino Acids. And at first, I'm really excited about this. This is $22, but I will say, this product doesn't exist anymore. When you go to First Aid Beauty, they don't sell it anymore, and you can get it on eBay and like Walmart. It's out of stock. So this is old product from what I gather. That being said, like it'll probably still work fine as a foaming cleanser. So I'm not mad at getting it, but it's kind of like, eh, I'm getting old product probably because this this is like, out of stock everywhere but um that being said it lifts away dirt oil and debris it's safe for sensitive skin like it looks like it's a good cleanser so i'm not mad about that it's just like i wonder how old this is yeah. since it's like sold out everywhere you can't get it on the website anymore but it is a good it, like this is something i am excited about so i'm not mad about it it's just yeah. like mm, there's a it's a little sketch <laughs> yeah no i think that's a really good product uh product first aid beauty i've heard great things about foaming cleanser is nice does it have an expiration date on it no it's just 12 months from opening okay so i mean it is a cool product but i agree it's kind of like how long how old is it when did they discontinue it or i don't know. yeah who knows? All right, so last but not least, I received an item by, by Beauty Bakery. It's Proof is in the Puddin' eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, so it's just an eyeshadow palette. I think this is super cute with the banana pudding on it, and it's honestly making me want some right now. Yeah. I haven't had any in, like, years, but that sounds <laughs> I delicious. I love banana pudding. Oh, yeah, my gosh. so good. This is what the palette looks like. And then... And I've had this palette before, and I think I just got this one maybe in my... PR box? I've had this before, but it, it is good. Okay, I've never used, I don't think I've ever used any of their products before. Yeah. You said the pigment's kind of light, right? Yeah, this is, 
they're not super pigmented. Like they're pigmented, but they're not crazy pigmented. They're good if you're if you're a little bit more shy with color. It's a it's a nice neutral palette. I used to wear this as my work, going to work palette, like because yeah. it's a nice neutral. So it's really pretty. It doesn't come with a mirror, but it does have little bananas on it to go with mm -hmm. the little pudding. So cute. Um, and beauty, like I think I said this in one of my other videos, but Beauty Bakery has been in everything this month. They've been in BoxyCharm, Ipsy, and I got them in my Allure box. So they've wow. really been like in every subscription box ever this month, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I don't think I'm personally gonna keep this palette. I have so many eyeshadows already and I don't use them often. They are nice neutrals, but I don't know, some of the shade, like I, I don't know, like this leans orange, this leans red, and that's just not something I personally Yeah, it is use. warm toned for the most part. So. Yeah, um, but it is a nice palette and it's really good with lights, shimmers, mattes. It has all of the different like basics in it, which is It's cool. a good everyday palette. Yeah. And the last item that I received is from Iconic London. This is their Dewy Glow Highlighter, which on their website retails for 28 British pounds. Um, Dewy Glow, meh, not for me, but let's open it up. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is nice, but I think that these are cream, yeah. So these are cream highlighters. Um, I don't like cream product on my face just because of the way it is the only oh, and the shades are not for me This is definitely meant for somebody with a darker skin complexion Maybe I could use this one, but it's really yellow as highlights. I mean I've used this highlight blush bronzer maybe But I don't like it. It's mm -hmm. this is going in a giveaway because I just it's not for me. I'm not excited. I Yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, it does have a mirror It's just frosted over with like that you can peel off so if you like that kind of thing, it'd be fun. But for me, I'm not I'm not here for it at all. Yeah, and it does look dark. I'm not sure how much the camera picked it up, but like in person, like that light shade looked pretty dark. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. All right, so that was everything in each of our BoxyCharms. Now we're gonna give our BoxyCharms a rating out of five. If we like the product, we'll give it a point. If we don't like it, not for us, zero points. And then a half a point for products where we kind of need to test it out. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was a bad, bad boxy charm month which mm -hmm. sucks because the ipsy was really really yes. good this month mm -hmm. but let's give it a rating so i'm going to give the mascara a point i'm going to give the face wash a point zero points for the eyeshadow zero points for the lip serum because i don't like the scent at all and zero points for the highlighter so it's a two out of five boxy charm for me this month I just, I don't think it was good. It doesn't feel tailored to me at all. Like, at all. Like, I don't like dewy, glowy products. I don't, like, I just, there's a lot of stuff here that I just don't like. And I'm pretty sure my profile says certain things, but just not a fan this month. Yeah. All right, let's see if mine compares. I'm going to give a point to the mascara. Zero points for the eyeshadow blocker. Half a point for this because I need to try it. We'll see. So half a point for that. I'm going to give a half a point to the lip oil. I like it, but again, the scent was weird. So half a point for that, and then zero points for this because I'm personally not going to use it. It is a good product, but I'm not going to use it. So that's, what, two points for me? Yeah. I agree. It's, and I'm also, like, Ipsy was amazing this month, so for me, this just doesn't... It could have been better. It doesn't compare at all. Mm -hmm. Like, Ipsy really blew back. Like, the Ipsy Plus was just so much better. And we, yeah. like, we just filmed the Ipsy Plus and X before filming this. So, mm -hmm. like, in our head, I don't know what order they're going to be uploaded in. Um, but just, like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's not good. So, I'm very yeah. curious to see what the news is. Because this is not going to cut it for me. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any, like, good, good the, product. Yeah, this is the only thing that feels the, really significant and yeah. nice. Everything else I'm kind of, like, met about. But... I don't even think I can pick a winner. I don't think there's a yeah. box that's better. They're both about the same. Like, they're both not I'd amazing. actually probably pick yours just because of the cleanser. Yeah, that but makes then, sense. But, and I like the... I wish the highlight, if the highlight powder was a little bit lighter and powders, I would be excited about that. Yeah. So definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you agree with our ratings? What did you think? Did you get a boxy charm this month? We would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. And we'll see you in our next video.